since 1980, people all around the world have been trying to solve this colorful calamity. Can you guess what it is? Yep, it's the Rubik's Cube. Six centers, 12 edges, eight corners, over 43 quintillion possible combinations, and it makes sense only 5% of the population can solve it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to actually solve it. Yes, actually solve it. So grab that cube that's been sitting on your shelf for the last 10 years, and let's get solving. Before we start, I'd like to give you a quick intro on how I got into cubing myself. So, it was four years ago, in 2020, where everybody was locked indoors because of the COVID-19 pandemic. I just cut off one of those online meetings they had for classes, and I was super tired. I plopped down on the couch right to take a nice, long snooze when I saw it. My poor scrambled cube, untouched since 2018, sitting there on the dark mustard shelf. That's when I decided I was going to solve it. And then, after a bit of surfing on YouTube, I finally found the perfect tutorial. And a couple hours later, voila, it was solved. And I was pretty impressed with myself, but then I put it away and sort of ignored it. So in 2022, which was two years later, I decided that I was going to take this hobby seriously. So I practiced new algorithms, and I got better and faster. And here I am now, with the best time of 13.6 seconds. For comparison, my first time solve ever was 3 minutes and 40 seconds. That's a pretty big jump. So that's my story of how I got into cubing, and I hope that this video will get you into cubing too. So the first step to learning how to solve a Ruby's cube is knowing what side you're on. So if I pick up the cube, and if I look in the dead center of any side, what color is it? Well, in this case, it would be yellow, because the center is yellow. So that means you're on the yellow side. And if you turn the cube to another side, what, what color is the center? Well, in this case, it would be red. So then we're on the red side. One more example is if you twist it this way, and what color is the center? It would be white, so that means you're on the white side. And an important thing to remember is white will always be opposite of yellow, Red will always be opposite of orange, and green will always be opposite of blue. But even if I scramble it, like this, yellow is still opposite of white, green is still opposite of blue, and orange is still opposite of red. So, so moving on, we have the types of pieces in a cube. I already explained the centers, so now we're going to explain the edges. An edge piece has two colors on it, then you can use two fingers to pinch an edge piece like this. Next up is a corner. When corners have three colors on them, then you can use two fingers to pinch a corner piece like this. Another important term is a face, which is basically just one side like this. You can put your whole palm flat on the face like this. All right, with that out of the way, it's time to explain cube notation. And I might be wondering, what the heck is cube notation? Well, what, eh, don't explain it, I'll explain it all. So, cube notation is basically just a series of letters and apostrophes to determine what side to move and how many times. So, if I said, if I said do U prime, so, so think of it as a clock. One face is a clock. You have 12 noon, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So, if I said U prime, prime means go the other way, so anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. So, you would turn the up layer counterclockwise, like this. And if I said U, it would mean go clockwise, so turn it this way, like that. And so another example is R. So if I said R, it would mean turn the right layer, which is this layer, clockwise. So I'll turn it clockwise, like that. And if I said R prime, it'll mean just go the other way. So just turn it back like that. Another example is L, which is a left layer. So if I said L, I would turn it clockwise, like that. And then if I said L prime, I would turn it the other way, like that. 
The next example is a front layer, which is also a layer you'll be turning in this example saw video. So I said F, we put the front layer like a clock like this, clockwise. And if I said F prime, you would simply turn it the other way, like this. Now what if I said U2? What does that mean? Well, if you think back, U means turn it clockwise, and the 2 just means turn it twice. So U2 would be 1, 2, just like that. If you're confused about that, you can say, you can say F. I'll go F2 prime. So then you would go 1, 2, just like that. So with that out of the way, it's time to start solving the first layer. So I'll take you through seven steps in today's solving process. One is the daisy, two is the white cross, three is the white corners, four is the middle layer, five is the yellow cross, six is the yellow corners, and seven is the final goal, which is basically just the solved cube. So step one is the daisy, where we want the yellow centerpiece with four white edge pieces around it. So to start, we have to find white pieces, white edge pieces in the right layer, or the left layer to be moved up into the into the daisy. So on this side we have none, this side we have none, and wow we are really short on white edge piece in the layer. So so there is one exception on the bottom. If it's on the bottom, we can just twist the front layer or any layer, it's on the left layer or the right layer, whatever. We can just twist that layer twice moved to the top. So in this case I'm gonna say it's on the right layer. I just move the right layer twice. So one, two, and it's on the top. So so we have one pedal done. And so the next step is to get all of the pedals in place. So we have no pedals in the right or left layer to be placed for us. So we have to so we have to move them ourselves. So let's start with this one. This is in the middle. So I can choose to turn it to, so we can choose to turn it to either the left or the right. However, however, we have a little dilemma though. Because if we turn it to the left or right, it moves this pedal out of the way. And we don't want that. So how do we solve this? Well, it's really simple. We have to move this pedal out of the way so we can move this into one of these layers. So I'm gonna turn the top layer to the right. Top layer to the right. So now this pedal's on the left, and this slot is open. So you won't be disturbing any pedals by moving this to these layers. Now, if you turn it to the left, we're gonna see that it's blocking this pedal. So I, so I can't move it up yet. So I'm gonna turn it to the right, but well, there's an open slot right here, and I can move this up. And now I have two pedals done. And in doing that, oh look, oh look, we got a little bonus. And now both of these pedals are ready to be moved up into these slots. So I can just do left layer, up, and right layer, up. And there's our daisy. Yellow center, with four white edge pieces on in place. Now it's okay if you have a white corner stuck in there or, or anything like that. All that matters is you have the yellow center with four white edge pieces. If you've got that, great. Now we're gonna learn how to turn the daisy into the white cross, which is the second step. So how you make the white cross is you align the centers, is you align the edge pieces with the petals with their with their respective centers. So in this case, we have blue and blue already lined up. That's good, because we want them to match. So, you take the front layer, which is matched up already, and we twist it to the bottom. So I just do U F2 in any direction. I'm gonna turn it to the left. One, two. You can see it's now part of the white cross, which we're about to make. So we can move on. And look at this, we have red matched up already, which is good. So we can do the top layer, or sorry, excuse me, the front layer, twice in any direction. I'm gonna turn to the left again. One and two. And I have two parts of the cross in place already. So now we have green and orange. We have a green petal and an orange petal. That's not matching, so we have to turn the top layer until it matches with the center. So green with orange, that's not right. Green with green, that matches up. And so now we can twist this front layer to the bottom. Now, I'm, I'm gonna twist it to the right this time so we can go one, Two. And so now we have three parts of the cross in place. We're going to see one more, this pedal right here. 
One of it's red. No, it's not red. We gotta turn it. One of it's blue. No, we gotta turn it again. Orange with orange. Here we go. We got a match. And so now we're gonna do a twist to the bottom again. I'm gonna go to the right. One and two. And if you look on the top of your daisy, it will be gone. But if you turn it over, you have the white cross. Well done. You've now almost solved one layer of the Ruby's cube. So now our next step is solving the is solving the whole white side entirely, or the first layer. So in this step, I'm gonna teach you your first algorithm. Now it may sound complicated, but don't panic, it's actually really easy. An algorithm is just a pre-memorized sequence of moves on the cube using cube notation. So this is the algorithm you're gonna use for this step. So so don't practice this until you are really confident with solving the white cross. Otherwise your cube might get messed up and you and, and might step again. So here's the algorithm. It'll be R U R prime U prime. It, this is why known as right trigger or sexy move. And and if you're a lefty, you can use this algorithm, which is left trigger. You can go L L prime U prime L U. So practice those moves uh, until you can do them comfortably. And, and then you can start solving the first layer. So, so in this step, we want to solve the whole white side. So we have to find white corners and put them in the bottom layer with a cross. So, so find the white corner on the top layer. And we have this one. So it's white, green, and orange. And then like, I want to line it up with the slot, right? Uh, so I want to make sure I match it with its two centers. So right now, if it's lined up with orange and orange, that's good. But we have green and blue. And we don't want that, right? Because that's not matching. So we're going to turn it this way. And now look, it's not matched up with green and green, and orange and orange. So we're good there. And now I, and then I want to use the algorithm that I just taught you to solve this corner. So we're going to go R, U, R prime, U prime. And it's still not solved yet, so they may have to do it a couple more times. So you go R, U, R prime, U prime. Then you go R, U, R prime, U prime. And now it's solved. Because you see, you have the cross, the corners in the bottom layer, and it's lined up with its centers like that. So let's do another example. We have this corner right here. So white, red, and green corner. So, 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 so it's already lined up with its centers, right? We have green and red, corners green and red too, that's good. So then, so then we form the algorithm. So R, U, R prime, U prime, so not solved. It's in the bottom, but it's not rotated correctly, so we're gonna have to do it a couple more times. R, U, R prime, U prime. Now it's in the top layer, so not solved yet. R, U, R prime, U prime. It's in the bottom again, but it's still not solved. R, U, R prime, U prime. Still not solved yet, we're gonna do it one more time. R, U, R prime, U prime. And now it's solved. You see, because you got the centers, it's lined up, the corners in the bottom layer, it's rotated correctly, and it's lined up with its respective edges too. So it's almost done. We got two corners in, we're going to do the rest. So now we got a, a, we got a white, blue, and orange corner right here. So now it's lined up with the red and green slots. So we can just put this corner in, so we don't want to move there, because I can move that corner out of position. So we're going to turn the top layer until it's lined up. So now we got blue and red. This corner is blue and orange, so it's still not red. We're gonna turn it one more time. Now it's lined up with orange and orange and blue and blue, so we're good. So, so now we're gonna form the algorithm again. So we do R, U, R prime, U prime. And I can see this corner still, so we're almost done with the first layer. So now we're gonna move this last white corner into place. It goes right here, so we're gonna line it up with its centers, red and red, blue and blue, yeah, we're good. And then, we're doing, and then we're going to do the algorithm one more time. So we go R, U, R prime, U prime. And oh, look at that. First layer done. Crazy. Well, wow, it's like first that was impossible, but now look at it. Look at how far you've gotten. Nice job. Now the next step is, this, is the middle layer, which is arguably one of the hardest steps in solving the entire cube. But if you persevere, I think you'll get it.
Now we're gonna solve the middle layer. But be warned, this step is a little harder than the other ones. So don't worry, just persevere through it and you'll get it in no time. So, how to solve the middle layer is you wanna get these edge pieces in their correct position so that you have two layers done. So, let's so say I wanna look at the yellow layer, or the top layer in this case, because you have the white side done, so keep that on the bottom. You wanna look the well, then you wanna look for an edge piece that doesn't have yellow in it. So if, if, if you look at this piece, it's got green and it's got yellow. And we don't want that, right? Because it has yellow on it. So you know, this piece is green and it's got red. Perfect, right? So it doesn't have yellow. So what I'm trying to do now is like you want to look at this piece and say what color is it? And you say, well, it's red. So so you want to line up with the red center. So this is red and blue. So yes, yeah, so it's red and blue. Not gonna work. Turn it. This is red and orange. Not gonna work. Red and green. No. Red and red. Perfect. Now it's lined up. And now I want you to see. Well, what's the color on top? And in this case, it's green. And say, okay, where is green? Is that on this side? Or is it on this side? Well, I can peek over to the left side, see that it's blue, so it's not there. It has to be over on this side. The other side is green, the green center. So what we do, so so this piece is going to the right. So I want to go top layer, top layer, go away from the right side, so like this. So the edge should be over here now. And then you go right trigger once. So R, U, R prime, U prime. Then I cube a little scramble, but it's okay, it's okay. It's not really scrambled. All you're doing is they're setting up the edge piece that we moved in. And now you, you, you should have a white corner facing toward you. Now I want you to turn the cube so that the white corner is facing your left. So it should be facing uh, the left side. And then perform left trigger. So and then we go R, or sorry, <clears throat> L prime, U prime, L, U. And if you notice now, this edge is solved, see, because look, it's got its corner and then you got its corresponding edge piece with it. So that edge is solved in the, in the second layer. And now we have another edge piece right here. And it's already lined up as the center, so we got blue, blue, and then we have orange on the top. So it's orange on the left or right. Well, we can look on the right and see that's red, so that's not it. And we can go, see orange on the left. So then we go, orange going to the left, so we go top layer away from the left. I guess that should be on your right. And then you go left trigger right here. So you go L, L prime, U prime, L, U. You should have a white corner in the top left corner facing you. You want to turn the cubes, that corner faces to the right, like this. And then you go right trigger, so R, U, R prime, U prime. And now this edge is solved because it's got its corner and you got the edge lined up with it too. So you're almost done, you have two edges in now, you gotta do two more, maybe just one more, I don't know. So you have, this one has yellow on it, you don't wanna do that. This has yellow on it, don't do that. This one doesn't have yellow. Ever since, this not lined up with its center though, because it's orange and green. So we wanna line that up. So we're gonna twist it this way, see if it's that, uh, no. Not lining up, we're gonna twist it this way. Still not lined up. We're gonna twist it here, now it's lined up, orange and orange. So, so the piece in the top is green, it is green on the left or right, we're gonna check the left, ah, so left is green, so let's move to the left, we're gonna go top layer away from the left, edge should be on your right, left trigger, L prime, U prime, L, U, and the right corner should be facing you right here, uh, turn the cube so it's facing out, and then you go right trigger, R, U, R prime, U prime, and now that edge is solved, we need to do one more I think, yep, one more right here, and look at that, it's already lined up, blue and blue. Gonna be a red on top. Red is on the right side, so away from the right. And you be on your left. Right trigger, R, U, R prime, U prime. And we're gonna turn the cube so it's facing out toward the left. And we're gonna go L prime, U prime, U. And look at that, middle layer is done. Wow, I'm really surprised I made it this far. I mean, I don't think this one is pretty boring, but <laughs> I mean, that's up to you to think whether it's boring or not. But congratulations, you have to solve the middle layer. Only one more layer to go. Now the next step is the yellow cross. So I want you to hold the yellow side face up. And I want you to look for a yellow line, which is three or the middle like that. 
I mean, if you have it already, great, you can wait till like, Square had made the cross out of that. But if you don't have it or to see a bunch of random yellow edges, you can just follow this algorithm. So you're gonna go F and right trigger once. So R, U, R prime, U prime, and F prime. So move the front back. And now you can see I have a yellow line here. So now I'm going to hold it horizontally in the same algorithm. And we go F and then right trigger once. So R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, and F prime. And you can see that gives me a yellow cross. So once you have a yellow, the next step is to solve the entire yellow side. So in this case, I have no corners on the top of the other yellow. And I have double eyes right here. So I have two corners here and two yellow corners here. So in this case, I'm going to hold them so that they are horizontal to me, so they're facing out toward me. And I'm going to do this algorithm. It is R, U, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R. And as you can see, I have one corner yellow. Now, now this case is described as a fish, as you can see, look, you have the mouth here, and you have the fins, and the body right here. So the fish, and, and you also have this corner, which is often called fish food. And so I want to make sure the fish food is facing toward you. And then, and then the fish can eat out of your left hand, right? So look, it's eating out of my left hand right now. So now, solve the same algorithm to solve the yellow side. So R, U, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R. And if you did that correctly, you should have the yellow side done. Congratulations. Now, all you need to do is two more steps, which is orienting the yellow corners and then solving the yellow edges. So let's get to it. In our last step, we learned how to solve the yellow side. Now, uh, now we're going to permute the yellow corners so that all in the correct positions. So I want you to take your cube, and I want you to look at this layer right here, right, the one right underneath the yellow layer. Now we're going to see, and and you want to look for this pattern right here. Two corners of the same color, with one edge piece in the middle. So we have it right here, and what we're going to do is match the corners with their center. So right now the corners are orange, and then the center is blue, and that's not matching up. So we're going to turn the top layer, which is the yellow side. And we're going to turn it until the centers match up. So we're going to turn it, and now it's orange and red. That doesn't match up. We're going to turn it again. And now, this, and now the edge matches. It's green and green, but the, but the corners don't match because it's orange and green. So it doesn't match. We're going to turn it one more time. And now we have orange corner and orange center, so we're good there. So now, once you have that in that position, we're going to hold the cube to the yellow side. It's facing us. And then we're going to perform another algorithm. So we're going to go, in this case, this side is the top layer right here, the orange side. So we're going to go R prime, down prime, D prime, another way to call it, R prime again, and then U2 in any direction. So for that part of the algorithm, it keeps it look like this. So three yellow pieces, two blue pieces, and or no, sorry, these pieces can be any color, it doesn't matter. And four white pieces like this. And then, after that part, I want to go R. And then, and then you want to go D. And then R prime. So now these pieces should be yellow. There should be three yellow pieces and then four white pieces. And then you want to go U2, top layers, in any direction, one, two. And then go R2 for the final step, so one, two. Now after that, you should have uh, the same pattern on all the edges like this. If you're lucky, you should get one side solved like this. What you do is line this up with the side. So you turn this this way, and this solves the red side. You are almost done, you're so close. Now all I need to do is solve these final three yellow edges right here. So now what you have to do is follow this algorithm. It's slightly different. So you have to go R2, but make sure the completed face is in the back like this. Make sure it's in the back. And you go R2, and then U, and then R, 
and then then you you again and then r prime u prime r prime u prime r prime u r prime Menu cube may be solved. If it is, congratulations. If it's not, you may have to do it just one more time. So let's do it one more time because my cube is not solved yet. So remember, complete the side of the back and go R prime, or not R prime, R2, and then U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime. U, R prime. And now if that cube should be completely solved, congratulations, you have done it. Then this step is is very universal to cubic cubes, so you can actually apply this type to other cubes such as the 2x2, two two, the 4x4, four four, the 5x5, five five, or the pyramid, or the mirror cube, or any other weird cube like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you guys for watching.